to the Rotel RVC240, the front of which would look like that if it was on the set. This is the receive side. The service manual says on receive, connect your test meter between test point 2 and ground and adjust transformer 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now I'm not going to do that because the radio is already receiving. So we're not setting it up from a non-working environment. So what we'll do, we'll be using our synod meter connected to the oscilloscope as we usually do on these jobs. So we're on 27.79125 and the first coil which we need to adjust is T5. I'll just make sure that we're doing these in the right sequence with the layout chart. T5 seven T eight T nine T ten and T eleven will be the detector which is uh oh no T eleven is down there. There's one under the wiring harness and then the detector's there. So we'll just run through those. Three microvolts, one microvolt. Take that test clip off now. T5, T7 I think that's uh, T8 No, the one under the wiring harness. Beautifully hidden. And then setting the Signal generator for 100 microvolts. We're looking at best recovered audio on the oscilloscope. The, the, um, we're looking for the greatest amplitude. And setting the detector coil. We've done that. Now let's see where the sensitivity is. That's one microvolt. I'd like it to be a little bit better than that. I'm just going to run through some of these again.
So now, having gone through that several times, we're listening to 0 0.3 of a microvolt. 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, 0 0.1. So we've got the sensitivity back there. I've said before, I can't really I'll tell you really how many decibels uh, signal to noise ratio that's in relation to because the way it reads off this instrument needs actually doing some calculations. If I was on one of the other two test sets, I could tell you direct that there's no video equipment on those test sets at this point. So that is the receive side so far. What we now need to do is to set up the... If I turn my page over, we now need to set up the squelch. So I'm going to switch the signal generator off, set the squelch to threshold, switch the generator back on, and we'll see where that comes in. Well that's three microvolts. I think this squelch is capable of being more sensitive than that. I'm going to turn the squelch to full and again see where that comes in. Comes in at 100 microvolts. I'm now going to adjust RV1, and RV1 is the preset just down here, which is just peeping out of the wiring harness there. So I'm just going to, so that the squelch opens, there we go. Now I'm going to go through that test again. So I'm going to switch the signal generator off. Turn the squelch down, set it to threshold, switch the signal generator back on. It now opens at 1 microvolt, which is much better. Now we're going to advance the squelch to full, and it comes in at 30 microvolts, which is about S7. So that, I think, is better for us. But if you lived in a big city where it's full of people, it may have been better as it was, set for S9, opening it as a maximum. So that covers the squelch, RV2. Now the S meter, we're going to put an S9 equivalent signal on, which is there. And the S meter is RV3. And RV3 is the preset just there. So just tilt that up. Again, the S meter lamp is still out. Don't know whether you can see the needle, but it's, it's well above the nine. So we'll just put the tool in there. And that is now set to nine. And there we have it, a set that wasn't working, had had an illegal modification, and after two capacitors, a new synthesizer chip, and some time, is now working. What I now have to do off the video is restore the public address function, the wiring's dangling out here, and what we'll do is to look at one of those other sets I was waving at you, and just see how that's wired. So there you have it, the Roto RVC240, which we will subsequently do an on-the-air video of. Thanks for watching. Just as a footnote, one of the subscribers has acquired a York 863, which of course uses the same chassis, which has also had some silly modifications. And one of the features he's lost is the dimmer control. So I'll just show you how it's wired on this radio so that you can copy it. There's actually only two wires and it's quite straightforward. So dimmer control is this one at the end nearest the display. So if we just zoom in on that. You have the white wire, which in this case has a ready orange tracer, 
which goes to the right hand tag, the red wire goes to the centre tag and is linked across to the left hand tag. At the other end, if we waggle the wires, it's actually that one is the white wire with the tracer and the red one. So on the channel switch subboard, the white wire with the red tracer is that one. So that's the right hand tag of the control. And the red center one is to that tag. So there you are, that's your dimmer control supplement.